Hey, what's up everyone? So I got a little unboxing here today and this came from Marine Depot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you. Show you what I got. I got the PMK Okay, it's the PAR monitoring kit. Um, I've always been really curious as to what my PAR levels are, really in all different areas of the tank. And I've thought about borrowing one from the club before um, that I was part of, but I just never really got a chance to because everybody wanted one. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Uh, like I said in the last video, it has the little reader that looks like a rock. The coralline algae on it. And yeah, I'm super excited about it. What we're going to do is we'll get it in the tank and we'll uh, test it out. And we'll see. I'll just have to look at the directions because I'm not sure if it's something that you'd want to leave in the tank all the time. Or or what that's kind of weird how it is but uh i mean it says continuous light level monitoring so i think it's something that you can leave in there at all times uh measures actual par prevents coral burnout so actually i'll probably know all the good idea of when i need to replace t5s and whatnot from there so i'd say the only thing that i'm a little bit worried about is trying to hide i mean it says it says on here um, that the sensor is in a rock, so never be seen, never see the sensor, but you got to have the cable down into the tank, so I don't know. I'll have to figure out. I do have a spot in the back corner where I can maybe squeeze it in and maybe throw the uh, bottom cable under some of the, the gravel or rock in the bottom, so we'll see in the sand bed, excuse me. So we'll see, so let's get into it. I'm gonna grab uh, some scissors, so give me one sec. Sorry about that, all right, let's get in here. So obviously when you do something like this, or maybe not obviously, you can't just buy something that's made for the Apex if you don't have an Apex. That's the first thing. So I think sometimes it's a little confusing too on like how many ports you need to connect things, um, what type of, um, what kind of sensors or modules you need in order for something to run. So, for example, I have um, a module on my on my Apex where when I open up my stand light, I have a magnet sensor, and when I open up the stand door, the lights turn on. So there's all kinds of really cool things. I have one for the protein skimmer. When the protein skimmer fills up too fast um, or gets too high of a level, it turns it off so it doesn't overflow. So you know, that needs a different, mo those, those all need modules in order to run some of these things, just like this PMK or a dose, a dose unit or a Neptune wave, whatever it is. If it's going to be for Apex and Neptune or Neptune systems, then you're going to have to have the correct things for that. So when you purchase an Apex, um, you know, you can get additional energy bars that have additional ports on there so you connect different monitoring systems or kits or whatever so just make sure you're aware of that um, and sometimes it's difficult but I found that their customer service is pretty good as far as calling up and seeing what you need so let's get into the box here if I can sometimes they slide sometimes they don't so this one's going to slide open these are kind of cool boxes on some of the other ones when they open the pictures that they put on here. This one's a little blurry, but um, some of these boxes and the, or the unboxing for these things are kind of cool. They look 
they do a good job with the advertising or the boxings. All right, so I have a security tape here and I would absolutely take the picture of the end of your monitoring kit. It'll have like a, a number on there that you'll want to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of that just in case you have issues or once you connect it, um, you're going to want to talk to the customer service about it and they might ask you what the serial number is or whatever. Okay, so let's get into it. Make sure I don't cut anything that's important. Make sure I don't cut towards my finger like a dummy. Alrighty. Okay. What we got going on here? So I'm gonna have my cable. So again, I don't know if it's gonna be something that I'm gonna keep in there permanently or not. And it just depends on how long this cable is. Oh, the sensor looks a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So here's the sensor and the cable. It looks like I'm going to get some pretty decent distance on it. And then the other thing is um, the cable is actually kind of thick. So, You know, when they're thicker too, they're kind of hard to get into the tank where you want it, but we'll see. Here's my module that I'll have to connect to my main system. Okay. This is a piece of rock that you can hide the sensor in, the reading module or whatever you would call it. Cool. Some nice deep purple coralline. Coralline I have going is pink, pink. So, all right. And then I've got my cable. That's gonna. It's a USB cable that connects it to the main. Connects the module to the main Apex system. And then they give you some um, screws. So, some people do a really good job of. Um, making a unit or making a area where they can hang all their modules whether it's on the wall or inside a cabinet or something like that I have mine in a cabinet but some of the modules I keep up in the top I don't mind so much about um, having these up there so people see it but and then as always they have the getting started guide right here so you can go to the neptunesystems.com forward slash get started and then you'll put in what you have purchased and then it will go step by step on how to um, install it or whatever. The cool thing is even though it's very techy system, it is very user friendly. So when I connect this module to the system, it's going to read on my Apex right away. It's not going to wait. It's going to it's going to read it right away. So, let me pull this camera down. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a pause on this and then I'll go set the camera up uh, where my system is and I'll show that getting everything put together. And I'm actually going to watch the video real quick before I continue with you. So, if I make a mistake, you're going to see it, because I think we should make it together. So let me get in there, and I'll be right back, okay? What's up, everyone? So right now, I'm on NeptuneSystems.com forward slash get started, and I'm going to show you just a little bit basic. I just started to go on a rant about my Apex and where my numbers were and all that stuff, so I'm going to save that for you for next time, so you can kind of see what I got going on. That'll just be in another video because it's going to take a lot longer to explain that. And I'm just doing an unboxing of this uh, PAR reader. So let's go ahead and show you basics. You will need one of these main systems to run most everything down here. The core uh, return pump you do not need it for. But for, I believe, everything else um, you will need it for. 
So you'll want to start off with one of these. You can look up the prices on Marine Depot or BRS TV. Sometimes some of the local fish stores um, will have these, especially if they're doing into the reefing. So the system that I'm currently using is the Apex with all four probes that came with it. And um, but they're all good systems and they all get you started with purchasing modules and kind of getting into the more advanced side of uh, monitoring your your levels. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click onto the PAR monitoring kit. And so it'll just give me a quick introduction, um, thanks for purchasing, it'll say how to prepare the Apex for it, um, how to connect your module, connecting the system to the module, um, placing the PAR meter, right? So it'll show you a lot of different things and we'll see where to place the PAR sensor. So place the PAR sensor rock in your aquarium where you want to measure uh, PAR measurements. So, you know, you might want to change that around from time to time just so you can kind of get a good idea of what's going on um, in the tank. I may leave it in one spot for a day and then I'll put it on the bottom for a day. And I may pull it out, I'll rinse it in fresh water and then maybe I'll just use it um, another time when I want to see like, you know, maybe do it every month or over a course of a week to see what's happening. So it'll show you kind of what it looks like here. And um, a lot of these PAR readings, there's some cool sites that you can find where, um, like where, what are the best numbers, what are the best PAR readings at different levels of the tank um, for different kinds of corals, whether it's uh, LPS, SPS, soft, whatever. And BRS actually has a really good video on that. So all I did was I went through and then I took a bunch of screenshots of it. So I'll have to dig those out of my thing because I out of my phone because I did those a long time ago. But yeah, and then it, like I said, it's super simple. You're going to connect it up to your Apex and it's going to pop a module up right away. And pretty much as soon as you connect that thing and put it in your water, it's going to start reading almost instantly, I'd say. Um, so let's check it out. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to pause this video and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right. So I'm going to show you what I got going on here. So up top, it's a little messy. Obviously you're dealing with wires. Um, I do have the one um, fluid monitoring module that's sitting up here. And then what's the other one called? Oh, a breakout. Sorry. My head was probably in the way. Uh, the breakout right here. So um, that's what does it controls the um, protein skimmer when it gets over full on a float switch and my lighting inside my tank um, or underneath my stand excuse me so um, I also have my doser up here my EV8 which is my extra um, control module and my original energy bar so all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot on here to plug in this um, light monitoring kit and I'll go from there so let me see I'm going to set it down I don't know if the camera is quite high enough see it's a mess up there but underneath it looks pretty nice all right so I'm going to try to connect this energy bar and then we'll see if I have any space I have two more spots on or so oh, excuse me four more spots on this one so I'm going to go ahead and connect it we'll see if the module automatically connects so I'm going to connect it in so it's in the sides and maybe if I can find it I'll show it to you online but on the side of the energy bars um, is where you put like those have USB ports basically so that's how you're going to connect the new modules that you want to connect they fit tight but they do fit and then what's going to happen once I connect this in that's what also powers the module now this one has two so that's obviously okay and the little light comes on there so really what I should see right away 
is I should see that switch um, pop up on the um, panel. So and I'll record that first. And then I'm going to connect my module. And just make sure you're not forcing things in places where they shouldn't be. Like this one has two little like balls, so you put it in and you turn it, and that's what tightens it into place. So these modules I just kind of have sitting up in my cabinet right here, so they're not they're not at all heavy or anything like that. And then uh, I've got so much cable left over, so. I'll and tuck it in here. Again, I don't care what up here looks so much like, it's what's going on inside my tank, right? So I'm going to take off my, here I'll record this, move you over, sorry. Now reach the way because my T5's kicked on. Now the thing is, I made the stand or the lid so tight that it's kind of even hard to get like the cables that are coming from the waves. Be careful with your sensor because you don't want it to crack or anything. It's very important. It comes with a blue little protector on it. I would keep that around. I'm going to go ahead and put it right inside this rock here. Yeah. Actually, let me connect you up, sorry. Okay, so you've got your sensor, which looks like this, and then a little monitor, you got this. So if you look on the bottom, you can see where it goes in and where the cable comes through on the rock bottom of the rock. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in there without scratching it. And they have a little, um, it looks like a little rubber on that to kind of hold it in nice and tight. But again, don't over push or anything, you don't want to break it. So you can kind of see where the sensor is coming up through there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there so I can just see what's going on. Again, before you stick your hands in your tank, make sure your hands are clean. And you got a towel ready so you don't get a bunch of water. Okay, let's try it over here. Okay, I'm just sticking it there just for some testing, okay? And if you're like me and you're planning on about putting more hidden water on the floor, just go ahead and... So I have it in there. The cable is a little intrusive, but I think I'm going to put it in through like the back of it and have the cable come down the back side. And then I'll bring it up through the middle and I'll stick it right in the middle down there maybe. But it'll be interesting to see what my par is right here. So I'm going back to the other one. I'm going to show you on the screen, okay? All right, everyone, so I have to redo this part of the video because it was showing, um, or the sound was just absolutely horrible. I forgot to turn down the mic intake. So um, anyways, I'm still going to put up part of that video, hopefully if I still have it right here um, on the bottom or somewhere in the screen. So you'll be able to see what the new tile look like. So anytime that you connect a new controller, it's going to show, um, or a new module, it's going to show a new tile right here. And what's going to happen is there'll be a little notification that says new tile. And when you open it up, you'll be able to scroll over to that new tile. And it should show usually at the end. So when I did that, let me close out my tile. It showed the par. So here's my par reading. And it's going up and down because I was moving in different parts of the tank. So I started off at the bottom left when I first put it in, um, like bottom left middle, which is a pretty good spot because it's got 
HD ends of two HD primes in the T5s. And then I moved it um, to the middle, but kind of shaded a little bit by the main structure, which read two four, or 140, excuse me. And then I moved it to the top, kind of middle. So I'd say it's, um, I'd say it's about 14 inches from uh, the, the HD prime hanging there right now in the T5s. So we're at 210. So I've got some pretty good numbers here, and it's going to be interesting to see like this going up and down as the light comes in and out throughout the day, and especially once the T5s kicks off, what the HD Prime's at, which is actually in the next hour, I believe. So that's what we're looking at, and eventually in my future videos, I'm going to go over all this stuff. There's a bunch of things I'd like to bring to your attention and show you. Um, on my fusion and some of my tests and some what some of my outlets are and how I operate my tank um, using my Apex fusion so I hope you have a great day we'll talk to you soon bye